What is going on guys? My name is Ron back in from Moment of Views here with something I wanted to talk about. Something that has been dear to my heart and a series that I've been thoroughly enjoying ever since it released about four years ago. And that of course is Saga of Tony the Evil. Today we were announced that we are finally going to get a second season to the series and I cannot wait. I remember watching the first season and I was recommended it to me. They're like, hey, I heard this is a pretty interesting looking show. I'll give it a shot. At the time, uh, Kobayashi Dragon Maid was going on at the same time and a bunch of other things. And that was mostly on my radar. I was not even considering looking at Saga of Tony the Evil. Wasn't even on my radar until I watched it. And I was like, okay, this is pretty good. And I watched the second episode and then I was immediately hooked. Absolutely phenomenal series. The movie just continues on. Uh, right after the first series and then it ended off with such a cliffhanger. I'm like, I can't wait to, I want to have more, I want to have more. And I believe yesterday, uh, or a couple days before, they had announced that there was going to be a special conference for Saga of the Evil and that the big speculation was that we were going to be getting a second season announcement at the end of it. Fast forward to today and we got that announcement. So I'm going to go show you the um, actual Crunchyroll article. I know some people don't like Crunchyroll, but there's an article in it that basically details everything that happened. Um, yes, the, basically the Saga of Tony the Evil TV anime continues to march on in season two. Studio Nut is going to be, is confirmed that it is going to be the anime studio behind season two, as well as both the first season and the movie. So perfect. Studio Nut tends to have the ideal there where they only work on one project per the studio so i don't know how large the studio is i'm assuming it's relatively small or they just divert all manpower into making every project that they work on the best as possible or a combination of both uh and so um it was during the saga of time of the evil roundtable special um i wasn't able to watch it it was region locked behind japan which i still don't think is a smart idea japan you know we there exists a bubble especially for anime watchers in the west outside of japan might want to just you know show it to everyone but i guess some people have older ideals uh but yeah it got announced i don't believe as of right now you can't watch the uh teaser trailer there is no actual um subs to it though um just japanese subs at the end um, and yeah, there doesn't really show anything, but at the end it basically just confirms that yes, yeah, Saga of Tanya the Evil, uh, to with some promotional art, Tanya being as maniacal and <laughs> crazy as is per usual. Um, but yeah, basically all the key members of staff, Yurika Uamura, um, I might be pronouncing this wrong just to let you know, uh, is going to be returning as the director, Yuja, um, who's... Hosogoe is returning the chief of animation director, and Kenta I Ihara is doing the scripts. Um, basically, the main the main head honchos. Uh, but yeah, absolutely looking forward to it. We got some really cool uh, um, light novel illustrations from um, from the uh, illustrator uh, Shinobu. Really cool ones, and then uh, one from a different manga creator. I know, um, oh, from the manga um, from manga creator Chika Tojo. I don't know if that's uh, the person who does the. Saga Time of the Evil manga. I've never read the manga or the light novel, even though I own the light novel, even though it's in Japanese. Uh, so I can't actually read it. Um, but yeah, Chief of uh, Animation Director drew this as well, celebrating it. I am absolutely stoked. Uh, um, we don't know, we don't have a confirmation as to when it's going to happen. They just announced it, but I'm assuming we're going to get it by next year. Um, if, if they drop it this year, I'm going to be ridiculously surprised but then again it is studio nut and like i said if they continue to do the whole work on one project uh per the animation studio only works on one project at a time they could actually just devote all manpower and time resources into making it and they could actually maybe have it up by winter if it's already been in production and it's just been under wraps that's if if not then we're probably not going to see it we're not going to see it until next year for uh, for sure uh but yeah you can watch season one and the movie on the actual on crunchyroll if you have a crunchyroll subscription site uh membership like i do um it's totally up to you i just hope that we eventually get the movie dubbed because my roommate wants to watch it but he only watches dubs and i think the dub for tanya is actually relatively good monica real uh as the voice actress for um, for Tanya does a very, very good job for the role. Uh, but yeah, but anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know if you are looking forward to watching, 
Tanya season two. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really happy that we finally got to actually see this. And I know that a lot of people might be a little bit wondering like, ah, Roman, where have you been? Where's your reactions? I I'm taking a break. Um, and the fact that I don't normally even talk about like this kind of stuff, but things like this are near and dear to my heart uh, for a series that I absolutely love. Waiting for a third season of Baka and Test. Or maybe a third season of Baka uh, of Konosuba. Give me something good. I know Katakawa is, I believe, the production. No, no, uh, is um, part of it. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not entirely sure, so I'm not going to say anything. But I know Katakawa is part of it. So, Katakawa, you gave us uh, part two of uh, Tony Devon. I appreciate you. But if you can give us uh, part three, season three of Konosuba, that'd be great. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section below. And as always, see you guys next time. See ya.